All right, in this video today, I'm going to be talking about what happens when glasses make your child's eye turn. Before I do, let's talk to you about how you can connect with us. If you're local, call us at 618-288-1489. If you're not local, that's okay. Go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com. You can read success stories, read about all kinds of things that we do in our clinic. You can take a quiz and you can schedule a consultation. All right, so let's go back. Let's talk about what happens if your child is prescribed glasses and all of a sudden you start seeing an eyeball turn afterwards. Well, this is actually what happened for a two and a half year old that I consulted about a couple weeks ago. And this little guy was doing well, but had an occasional, I'm so sleepy eyeball that shifted inward. And the parents, of course, were concerned about this because they didn't want to see their child's eye turning, so they took them to the eye doctor to find out, well, what should we do about this? It's only happening, you know, every now and then. We don't even see it every day. It's maybe just, you know, twice a week, but it's very intermittent. And the doctor said, well, it's because of the lens prescription. Your child is farsighted. Let's wear these glasses. We need to wear the glasses full time because that's the only way that it's going to help your child to not have an eye turn more long term. Well, fast forward a couple weeks down the road and the child's been wearing the glasses full time. And guess what also is happening full time? Yeah, the eyes turning full time all the time. So now it's a constant eye turn instead of a, you know, just occasional like, oh, just when I'm super, super sleepy. Okay, so the glasses, which were prescribed at best knowledge to that individual doctor, wear them full time. Let's make sure that we nip this in the bud. Now the person in child is a uh, full time eye turn. So what on earth do you do? Well, what we do is when they consulted with us, I talked to them about, well, how do we actually fix this? Generally speaking, we look at the lens prescription. We look to see if it's necessary to be in that strong of a lens prescription. We may reduce it backwards or because at that point, the damage is somewhat done. And now the child is trying to struggle to learn how to keep the eyes lined up and see through the lens and see before they were doing well. The problem they were focusing, they were having eyes aligned, but whenever they were super tired, they couldn't manage to keep their eyes focused. Now you put a lens on there that does kind of the focusing for the child and they don't have to really do a whole lot of work. And therefore you've allowed that eye to become a bit more lazy. Now I don't mean this is a lazy eye and this is where sometimes these terminologies get a little bit interchangeable and kind of confused. A lazy eye technically means an eye that doesn't see things properly. It's what we have termed an eye that's amblyopic and doesn't see things well. But doctors use it interchangeably all the time for it to mean a strabismus or an eye turn. That's technically not what that was really, you know, initially coined to be associated with. It was really associated with an amblyopia. And just because you have a strabismus doesn't mean you also have an amblyopia and vice versa. So in this particular case, this child's eye has gotten a little bit more lazy. I don't mean a lazy eye in the sense of amblyopia, but the muscles have kind of said like, well, hey, I don't really have to do any hard work. Cool, I'll just wear the lens. The only problem is, is like, it's actually making the eye work a little bit more hard and it's more challenging because before that, they were focusing and figuring it out, except for when they were tired. Now they've got these glasses on full time. They don't really have to figure out focusing, but the problem is, is that they are. And that's why the eye is, you know, seen as turning now constantly. So again, what do we do about that? So we will look and see, do we need to adjust that lens prescription? If the damage is kind of done, they're already full time constant eye turn for the last month to two months or whatever, maybe longer, maybe it's been a year. And the person just says like, hey, Dr. Julie, we just found you, you know, it's been a year, but this is what happened. Okay, so we assess, is it appropriate to take the child out of that lens prescription or maybe reduce it? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't appropriate. It's a case by case kind of a decision. And, you know, we look at the strength or power of the lens, what's going on, lots of other factors. Um, and if it's not appropriate, then what we do is when we say, well, 
we can work to try to reduce this using vision therapy and a very specific protocol that I developed for reducing um, eye turns using neurological stimulating lenses or filters. Um, also, this is known as syntonics. The trick is, is, is that there are a lot of doctors out there who use just a couple of filters and it's different. It is not the same protocol as what we are using in our clinic. This is a protocol I specifically developed. What should I call it? Hmm, if you have a cool name for what I should call my syntonics protocol, drop it in the comments down below and maybe I'll start using what you come up as a phrase for my specialized syntonics protocol, neurological light stimulating filters. Come up with a cool name and maybe I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna use that. But this is something that I developed personally myself. And so there's not like lots of other doctors are out there using my protocol. There are a couple, because I actually have trained some other doctors to do what I'm doing, but not that many. And so if you're like, oh, well, I'll just go find a doctor right next to me because I'm located in, you know, wherever, then I'll just find a doctor who's close to me and it's 10 minutes down the road, they do the same stuff anyway. No, they don't. <laughs> no, they don't. Because they, if they've not trained with me, they're not doing the same protocol. So you don't know for sure that they're actually going to be resolving the alignment issue that your child or you are having. So that's kind of like where we're at. There's a difference um, between what we do at our clinic versus other clinics, even who state that they're doing, you know, syntonics or light therapy or whatever they call it at their clinic and what we do. And for this particular case, for a patient who, you know, was just having it at sleeping night, night time and eye turning occasionally once in a blue moon and now has it full time because they got prescribed glasses. Well, we're going to assess that. We're going to assign them to therapy with phase one and phase two in our clinic, which phase one is just stimulating their brain and the muscles of the eyes to line up better. And then phase two, we incorporate on top of that some of the tried and true methods of vision therapy for teaching that individual how to line their eyes up. It depends on the age of the individual as well, as far as what activities they'll work on and the length of their program. So we work with babies starting around four or five months of age and oldest patient in their 80s, you know, teaching them how to have eye alignment, um, binocular vision and stereopsis. It is a complete fallacy or non-truth for a doctor to tell you if you don't do this by the age of six or seven, they're never going to get true binocularity. Nonsense. Not true. Totally not true. Otherwise, we have to say like, well, brain plasticity or neuroplasticity is not true. And we know that's false. Um, neuroplasticity exists. So the brain can learn new things all the time. And we're basically retraining the brain to have new neurological or electrical connections with lining the eyes up and using the two eyes together. So if you're interested in what we do, because it's super unique, then contact our clinic if you're local, 618-288-1489. If you're not local, that's okay. Go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com. You can take the next step, which is your action step. Schedule a consultation and find out how we might be able to help you. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you like and subscribe. And also pass the video on if you're like, well, this isn't me, but I ran across my feed, but this is my neighbor and she's got a kid who has an eye turn. Well, pass it to your neighbor. Thank you.